Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel today we are going to explore one of the historic sites in Canada. Make sure to subscribe. Canada is a country in North America. Its 10 provinces and 3 territories extend from the Atlantic to the Pacific and northward into the Arctic Ocean, covering 9.98 million square kilometers, 3.85 million square miles. Did you know that Canada is the world's second largest country by total area? Its southern and western border with the United States, stretching 8,891 kilometers, 5,525 miles, is the world's longest binational land border. Canada's capital is Ottawa, and its three largest metropolitan areas are Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. But today we are learning the history of Banff in Alberta, Canada. Banff National Park Banff is a town within Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada. It is located in Alberta's Rockies comprising the Canadian Rocky Mountains in Alberta, on the southwestern part of the province along the British Columbia border. Along the Trans-Canada Highway, approximately 126 kilometers, 78 miles, west of Calgary and 58 kilometers, 36 miles, east of Lake Louise. At 1,400 to 1,630 meters, 4,590 to 5,350 feet, above sea level. Banff is the community with the second highest elevation in Alberta, after Lake Louise. The town of Banff was the first municipality to incorporate within a Canadian national park. The town is a member of the Calgary Regional Partnership. Also commonly referred to as the Calgary Region, is a conglomeration of municipalities centered on Calgary, the largest city in Alberta. Banff is also a resort town and one of Canada's most popular tourist destinations. Known for its mountainous surroundings and hot springs, it is a destination for outdoor sports and features extensive hiking, biking, scrambling and skiing destinations within the area. Sunshine Village, Ski Norky and Lake Louise Ski Resort are the three nearby ski resorts located within the National Park. The history of Banff was first settled in the 1880s, after the Transcontinental Railway was built through the Bow Valley. In 1883, three Canadian Pacific Railway workers stumbled upon a series of natural hot springs on the side of Sulphur Mountain. In 1885, Canada established a Federal Reserve of 26 square kilometres, 10 square miles around the cave and basin, the site of natural thermal mineral springs around which Canada's first national park, and began promoting the area as an international resort and spa as a way to support the new railway. In 1887, the reserve area was increased to 673 square kilometers, 260 square miles, and named Rocky Mountain Park. This was the beginning of Canada's national park system. The area was named Banff in 1884 by George Stephen known as Sir George Stephen, B.T., between 1886 and 1891, was a prominent Canadian businessman. Originally from Scotland, he made his fame in Montreal and was the first Canadian to be elevated to the peerage of the United Kingdom He is the president of the Canadian Pacific Railway. The Canadian Pacific built a series of grand hotels along the rail line and advertised the Banff Springs Hotel as an international tourist resort. The Banff town site was developed near the railway station as a service centre for tourists visiting the park. It was administered by the Government of Canada's National Park System until 1990 when the town of Banff became the only incorporated municipality within a Canadian national park.
An internment camp was set up at Banff and Castle Mountain in Dominion Park from July 1915 to July 1917 mostly imprisoning Ukrainian immigrants. The prisoners of the internment camp were used as slave labor to build the infrastructure of the national park. In 1985, the United Nations declared Banff National Park, as one of the Canadian Rocky Mountain Parks, a World Heritage Site. Banff remains one of the most popular tourist destinations in Canada. One of the most notable figures of Banff was Norman Luxton who attempted to sail around the world in an old Red Cedar Indian dugout canoe. On his return to Canada, he worked on improving the community of Banff and the relationship between its residents and the Aboriginal community. He also published the Crag and Canyon newspaper, built the King Edward Hotel and the Lux Theater, and founded the Sign of the Goat Curio Shop which led to the development of the Luxton Museum of Plains Indians, now the Buffalo Nations Museum. He and his family helped organize the Banff Indian Days and the Banff Winter Carnival. Banff National Park is Canada's oldest national park, established in 1885. Located in Alberta's Rocky Mountains, 110 to 180 kilometers, 68 to 112 miles, west of Calgary, Banff encompasses 6,641 square kilometers, 2,564 square miles, of mountainous terrain, with many glaciers and ice fields, dense coniferous forest, and alpine landscapes. The Icefields Parkway extends from Lake Louise, connecting to Jasper National Park in the north. Provincial Forests and Yoho National Park are neighbors to the west, while Kootenay National Park is located to the south and Kananaskis Country to the southeast. The main commercial center of the park is the town of Banff, in the Bow River Valley. The Canadian Pacific Railway was instrumental in Banff's early years, building the Banff Springs Hotel and Chateau Lake Louise, and attracting tourists through extensive advertising. In the early 20th century, roads were built in Banff, at times by war internees from World War I, and through Great Depression-era public works projects. Since the 1960s, Park accommodations have been open all year, with annual tourism visits to Banff increasing to over 5 million in the 1990s. Millions more pass through the park on the Trans-Canada Highway. As Banff has over 3 million visitors annually, the health of its ecosystem has been threatened. In the mid-1990s, Parks Canada responded by initiating a two-year study which resulted in management recommendations and new policies that aim to preserve ecological integrity. Banff National Park has a subarctic climate meaning very cold winters, and short, cool summers. The three eco-regions, including montane, subalpine, and alpine. The forests are dominated by lodgepole pine at lower elevations and Engelmann spruce in higher ones below the tree line, above which is primarily rocks and ice. Mammal species such as the grizzly bear, cougar, wolverine, elk, bighorn sheep and moose are found, along with hundreds of bird species. Reptiles and amphibians are also found but only a limited number of species have been recorded. The mountains are formed from sedimentary rocks which were pushed east over newer rock strata, between 80 and 55 million years ago. Over the past few million years, glaciers have at times covered most of the park, but today are found only on the mountain slopes though they include the Columbia Icefield, the largest uninterrupted glacial mass in the Rockies. Erosion from water and ice have carved the mountains into their current shapes.
Archaeological evidence found at Vermilion Lakes indicates the first human activity in Banff to 10,300 BP prior to European contact. The area that is now Banff National Park was home to many indigenous peoples, including the Stony Nakoda, Tunaxa, Suutina, Kainiwa, Piaikani, Siksika, and Plains Cree. Indigenous peoples utilized the area to hunt, fish, trade, travel, survey and practice culture. So how do these rocky mountains form? The geologic formations in Banff range in age from Precambrian Eon to the Jurassic period. Rocks as young as Late Cretaceous, formed from the shedding of sediments towards the continental interior from rising mountain ranges farther west, were themselves caught up in the mountain building as deformation progressed inland. The rocks in Banff Park were laid down as sediments between 600 ma to 175 ma, the main period of mountain building occurred between 80 to 120 million years ago, as a result of the shortening and deformation of the ancient continental shelf as exotic island terrains collided and were accreted onto the continent's margin. The shortening was accommodated by thrust faults and associated folds, 